Well, my story is a little different from most because my son wasn't diagnosed with a heart defect until he was 18 months. So coming home, I had a lot of what a lot of people would say were normal issues. Um, just trying to get him to latch was super stressful. And I had some problems with him vomiting and not being able to eat long enough. So I felt like I was constantly trying to keep him awake because he would drink a little and be done. And he would do a lot of teeny little micro feeds all the time. And that was very hard to handle just because I was worried that he wasn't getting enough. So I felt like I was around the clock feeding him. Like I felt like a constant milk bank for my son. And right off the get-go, I just noticed some little things about him that made me worry. And I kind of had this gut feeling telling me that something wasn't quite right. But um, I think people just kind of chalked it up to me being a new mom and having those new mom worries. And so none of those um, feelings that I had were really ever addressed. The last step before we were able to go home, which was really challenging for us, was feeding. Um, and that was something that we had been warned about prior to the surgery, that afterwards, a lot of these kids have to relearn how to eat. Um, I was not able to breastfeed him, so it was completely bottle fed. Um, and that was one of the biggest challenges for us in terms of just going home and then also getting home. One of the biggest things having to deal with that. When Joshua was born, he had his first open heart surgery the day he was born. And so there was no opportunity to provide him with any breast milk or anything before he had his first open heart surgery. After he had that surgery, I remember wondering how he was getting nutrition. The only thing he was getting was an IV, and I didn't understand how nutrition went through that IV. And I remember being really worried about him getting enough nutrition. In fact, when he had the IV, he didn't gain weight, but he did maintain his weight, which was good. And he had that for a while before he was able to eat anything. After that, he had what's called an NG tube, which is a tube they put down through his nose into his stomach so they could put food through a pump through that tube. And again, I remember being very concerned about that and wondering how he was getting enough food and enough nutrition, but he seemed to do fairly well. At that point, I asked if I could add breast milk to the food that was going into him through the pump, but they did not want me to do that because they were concerned about the calorie count of the food. And sometimes breast milk will stick to the side of the uh, bag where that is used for the pump and they might not get enough food. I was really disappointed about that because I really wanted him to get breast milk. And I remember being very frustrated about that. <laughs> 